Hello, all my nerd friends out there. This is Mr. Chili here. And I just got done reading Justice Society of America, the new golden age. Whatever happened to the JSA, done by Jeff Johns. And this first issue was pretty good. I liked it a lot. It brought back kind of like this right here he did. Kind of remind me of the Watchmen in a way. That old school vibe and has death in it, has mystery. Um, and it's based on new characters. And that's what I like. That's why I like the Joseph this um issue a lot. And the story that Jeff John's doing. I definitely like Jeff John's work. He did the Forever Evil, he did um The Blackest Night, he did a lot of great events and great stories. Uh Doomsday Clock, the Three Jokers story, a lot of stories did. He always mixed up murder, mystery, and the dark vibe. I like that a lot. Um and um, he did the Flashpoint Beyond this year, and that was a great story too about uh, the Flashpoint universe and uh, about Martha and Thomas Wayne and um, just how to keep that world in balance. It was so cool too. That was go check it out, Flashpoint Beyond. You won't regret it. I'm not gonna spoil that much, but it was great to read. Um, and it was like a lot of death and twists and time. This connects to it, so I recommend. Kind of, it looks like it connects to it because they talked about the Saint Snow Globe. Somehow the snow goal is time travel. And um and that was mentioned in the Flashpoint Beyond that Jeff John did this year. He just finished it. Six issue miniseries. Go check it out. Uh I think this is a um it doesn't say a miniseries, I think it's an ongoing comic book. And it's pretty cool. Like I said, I love it. it's based on new characters. Basically about uh the main character is Hannah. Uh Hannah Wayne, the daughter of Selena Kyle and Batman. Bruce Wayne, and that's pretty cool in my books. I always want like a new hero that's passed from the generations. When the like Superman, we have John Kent, uh, Batman, Damien, but we got Hela, and they always mention her in like um, in other comic books. I remember, I think Earth Two comics, Hela uh, had the Huntress outfit. She's the Huntress in here, and it's pretty cool how unique um, Jeff John did this. Like thirty one years ago, since the death of Batman, uh, this is the only one that confused me. Well, not death of Batman. Um, death of his family. Obviously, you know the gunshot alley, and Bruce's back. So you know all that. And basically, thirteen years ago, uh, you see Selena jumping from a building. That's what was a mystery about. But right here, this was pretty interesting. I don't think it's Hannah. Um, one year from now, you can't tell Bruce. You can't tell anyone. Selena in the Arkham's even uh, ever find out about the child existence. She never will be safe. She will be after you. Help me kill them all. And what's going on there? Selena had another kid out there? Maybe. Who knows? Is What's this baby about? It's, a cat's touching them, so Selena knows about it. Selena's keeping some secrets from her and Bruce. They will go back and go to the uh, present now. 26 years from now. So that's pretty crazy, right? We'll see what we got. Now we got Hannah. I guess the whole story's about Dr. Fate's missing. And Hannah's looking for him. He's a, a member of the Justice Society, and now Justice Society. Um, so I guess it's in the future now. The Justice Society all retired. Dr. Fate's the only member that's active. Um, so Hannah decides to join it and recruit. He asked Dr. Fate, hey, can I bring in some members? She actually, pretty cool how she became. We even got the origins of her becoming a huntress. She, Batman's dead. And she, when she put her, she found a mask and a cape. And she wouldn't go avenge her father's death from a nobody. She he got killed by a nobody, like no way big. And she was shocked that happened. Um, but avenge her death and became the huntress. Make sure she lived up to her father's name, legacy, all that stuff, and joined the so Justice Society. Um, and she wanted to make the Justice Society kind of like how, how her mom got redeemed. Redeem villains, you know, uh, give them a second chances. That's what her father, his father, uh, her father was kind of, that was what he, what he was doing. That's why he kept the Joker alive so many times. He could have kept the Joker any time. That's why, if you notice, like, some movie shows or whatever, they all say, why, like, even Jason Todd, why he never killed the Joker? Because it would be too easy. He could have done it already, but he doesn't want to cross that line. He even made a robot in the Chips of Darkness, if he ever did, to get taken out. And there's so many stories, if Batman ever did kill anyone, he would be the most lethal weapon out there in the world. Um, anyways, back to the story. Uh, so that's what she did. She brought, you see, the new Justice Society, Summer Grundy. Um, it's a uh, Red Lantern. Let me get all the names right here. 
Okay, we got the uh, Jim Clark, the, the Gentleman Ghost. Then we got Solomon Glundy. Here's the Justice Society member. We got Power Girl, obviously. She didn't like it. It's all full. Basically, passed down generation villains. Uh, the Hardy Quinn son. Um, Icicle. Uh, the first child of first high school. Um, then we got the Mist. Then we got the, uh, see, the, and Ruby Sokoff. Forgive me if I mispronounce any names. The daughter of Valdemir Sokoff, the Red Lantern, the first Red Lantern, the uh, enemy of Al Scott, the first Justice Society Green Lantern. And it was pretty cool. Even we got a little flashback. Like I said, he brought that old school vibe. See the, the parents of these kids that are basically villains, um, past generations down from villains. Like the first Icicle and the first he missed, uh, Hardy Quinn. They're all enemies. Saw and Gundy, obviously, you know, Saw and Gundy. He was a bad guy. The Phantom. He was the enemy of um, Hawkman. Um, so it was pretty cool. It was, uh, uh, I like that. It was like a different lead. But the big thing happened right in the end. We see, obviously, they're all trying to figure out what happened to Hawk, I mean, Hawk, Dr. Fate. Power Girl doesn't like being surrounded by basic villains. These are interns. They were like, uh, we're, we're, waiting, we're trying to see new villains. I'm not villains. Trying to see new, get, way to get new members of the Justice Society. Um, Huntress was in charge. That's what Dr. Fate gave her. Say, yeah, you can bring in. Power Girl didn't like it. Blah, blah, blah. She, she blames them. And it was a big old dark moment right here. She snaps and blames uh, she doesn't like the other members, and boom, she gets shot. I don't know who this guy is, but she ever he ever had kryptonite. I didn't know um, Pargo had kryptonite blood in her. That's pretty interesting. And she's Kryptonian. I didn't know Pargo was par um, part Kryptonian. That's pretty interesting. I did not know that. Uh, anyways, so we got this guy holding kryptonite. Shoots uh, Pargo, kills her, turns uh, Phantom. Is it Phantom? Uh, oh, Gentleman Ghost. My fault. I'm calling him all Phantom. Gentleman Ghost into Human. That was pretty crazy. Like, this fool has unique freaking powers. I don't even know who this guy is. But he turned Gentleman Ghost into Human again in this shoots him. Pretty crazy moment right here, too. You see Gentleman Ghost charging. He says, you do no such thing, Jim. Not when I can simply slide you backwards, cross your own timeline, and return you to the land of the living. I'm alive. And the Gentleman goes, you were. Boom. The shoots in the head. Little by little, he, we don't we don't see him how he's doing it, but he's killing Glund he killed Glundy, aged him. I mean, turned him to dust or some shit. Like rapidly he shoots Hardy Quinn's son or Quinny's son. Um, he shoots uh, or he I don't know how he killed Icicle, but he melted him or something. Like that. He talks about Icicle frozen in place before he shatters. Yeah, he frozen pieces of him sparkle hovering in the airs at the time. Slow down. It was weird. Like I think he slowed time. He's doing something with time and messing them all up. Before it speeds up again, Ruby body generates her body too quickly and without releasing, she splits up a seam unable to contain it. And while the mist ages declared before me, soon mumbles. Yeah, so he's doing everything with time. That's what's weird. Like he's controlling time and boom, and little by little, it's like killing everybody. Um, and decades before me, soon mumbling the mist. I'm sorry, close him before his heart gives out. He ages him too quickly. He was, looks like he was going to age the Huntress real quick, too, until Selena saved her. But and this is when he Selena jumped in, saves him. She knows more than that. You have to save the Justice Society. They're already dead. Not this one, but Hannah, uh, Hannah. Before the others, find Dr. Fate. He can explain. I should have mom and throws him the... She goes back in time. Boom. See the snow globe. Time time. Time travels snow globe. What a weird thing. <laughs> and we just see uh, Hannah going flying back in time to the original Justice Society in 1940. Where did she come from? Search, search me, Johnny. So we're, Hannah's going to meet the original Justice Society. Talk to Dr. Fate. Dr. Fate knows everything, obviously. But it was cool. This is a brand new story. It's going to be ongoing. And I like it. I like it a lot. Like I said, it's based on new characters. We got it's not the same Batman, One Woman characters we we read before. That's why I want in comics. I want different. I want to get attached with new ones. We got the Justice Society part of it, but who's this? What's this mystery? Who's this killer that was killing everybody? Um, where's Doctor Fate been? Doctor Fate been missing. Um, so 
how Dr. Fates could help Hannah get back her time and save her justly just society members. Um and what's this villain all about? What's the chaos? Is this gonna affect our world? If it if it doesn't, it's a good storyline to work. I wanted to talk to you about it because it looks pretty cool. I like it a lot. It has murder, the whole just this her her Hannah Justice Society team members are all dead. Pretty crazy. Uh we'll see what goes on for here from now on. Job Jump works always been like a twist. Like a little twist there, a little twist there, a little twist. His stories always twists everywhere. That's why I seen it's it means something too. Each story means something. That's why I read so far. When I read Doomsday Clock, except for Forever Evil, I don't think there was much twist. I'm trying to think now. It was a straight forward. Forever Evil was awesome. Love it. But I'm liking this. I, I haven't read that much stories of the original regular uh, original Justice Society member. So it'll be um so it'll be pretty cool to see how this goes. But I like it a lot. I just wanted to talk to you guys about it. Comment below if you checked out Jeff John's Justice Society. Um, yeah, that's what's called. I keep forgetting the name of it. Yeah, Justice Society of America. My fault. Justice Society of America. If you have checked out, go check it out. It's a pretty good story. Things could be something to look forward to the reading. Something new, something interesting. I love. Uh, I like to see how. I uh, hope Hannah, uh, Batman's daughter, stays more focused. I hope she. I hope that. Batman really does have a daughter in in the new continuity. Like I want to see Damien's reaction to this, to her, and all that stuff. It'd be pretty cool, you know. I hope she's in. Uh, that's the most interesting. This whole story for me is her, her character. I like her character already. The Huntress, uh, Hannah being the Huntress and being taking her fallen mantle. I love that already. But we'll see how this goes. How who's this murderer that killed her? Just society and all this. But comment below what you guys think of Just Society America. And do you like it? Are you gonna check it out? I recommend go check out your local comic store, have some fun with it, read it, and comment below, read it, and let me know what you guys think about it. But thank you all for watching my video again. Please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel to get all my comic book reviews. And I hope you all have a good day and good night. Remember, stay nerdy forever. Bye.